Hey, it's our last day here in Cape Town. We're at a wine farm uh, doing what we do best, which is having a glass of wine. Uh, tomorrow we head off on our epic journey to France. And uh, so this video is gonna be all about that journey. Cheers. I'm Steph. And I'm Pete. And that's our two-year-old son, Hayes. We were selected by Airbnb to travel the world for a year, calling a new destination home for a month at a time. Follow along. It's still our last day, but it's the evening now. We are ending with a picnic, just like we started uh, in Seapoint, and we leave tomorrow. Come on, come on. Pete, it's time to do a house tour. We still haven't left Cape Town. We literally leave in a few hours, but we realized we forgot to show you the Airbnb we've been sitting at for a month, which has been one of our favorites. So very, very quickly, Here's an Airbnb tour of where we spent one month in Cape Town before we hit the road to go to France. Okay, let me show you around. This house was built in 1905, so it's an old beauty. All right, in here, got the living room, dining room table, old sound system, which has been amazing to plug our phones in, listen to music. Really great living room. The furniture, I've got to be honest, is not the best. There's couches and that comfy, those chairs aren't that great, but this TV is amazing. Something that we've used a lot is this outside space. So we've got a really nice uh, picnic bench here. We've been using the braai, aka the barbecue. Uh, this has just been a nice space. Okay, into the kitchen. This has been great. We've used this kitchen a lot. And one thing that I wanted to point out was just how, because the hosts live here, they have all this really cool uh, crockery. Would you, is that the right word? <laughs> For you, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but just everything's just really, really cool. And uh, obviously, they they spent a lot of time over the years. I don't know, building that collection. Or also, whatever. all of the pots are Le Creuset. Very, very good. Good quality stuff. All right, let's show you. Well, there's a little bathroom which you may have just seen me um, doing my business in a second ago. Now let's go out these great old wooden stairs. Really cool artwork throughout this place. Photographs as well as just other things. But again, you can really tell that someone lives here. Here is one of the bedrooms. We actually haven't used it as a bedroom. Steph has actually been editing our videos on that bed just lying down. Uh, but there is access to the balcony, which we're going to show you again in a second. Imagine you're sleeping and you roll over and this is the first thing you see in the morning. But this was our third room and the one we didn't use at all. Uh, this room is where Hayes has been sleeping. Great. Right nice there. Nice size on this. We just packed his cabin crib. Yeah, you don't, you don't just sleep on the mat. All right, bathroom. Good size bathroom. Nothing too special. Maybe a little bit faded, I would say, but very, very functional. Washing machine. Beautiful. That's my favorite appliance. <laughs> okay, our bedroom. Great bedroom, um, bed is a little bit small for us, but hey, it's been fine. Again, some really nice artwork, awesome picture of the beach that we went to. Check out the video on that. Steph, can you build that? Yeah. Uh, and here is this balcony, um, which we actually thought we'd be using more. And we didn't really use that much. Um, it's great, I really like it, only issue, and there's a really great view of just of this section here, but just of the harbor, which I kind of personally like. The owner, or the host, sorry, um, kind of has let that tree grow, and then he said he likes that because he doesn't think it's a great view. I think it's a good view. I think you should chop the trees down so that you can see more of it. I think we would have used this more. If Don't come at us, environmentalists. <laughs> yeah, but I just think you, it, a harbor view is still an interesting view to me, so I think he should chop that back. Anyway. That concludes this tour. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been a great home. We felt really rested and we really enjoyed it. This was, I think, um, the first place we've stayed where the host actually lives here or ha definitely has lived here. And I think they live here like between bookings and you can really tell. We don't always like that. Sometimes we like the like spick and span minimalist, super clean, but we are halfway through our year of travel and I think we're getting a little like homesick and realize that just being somewhere homey, albeit not our home, was really nice for a month. Okay, Steph, let's finish packing. Bye. See you later. Now we're headed.
it to the airport. Six months in, and I still love a travel day. Yeah, that's good. It's always, I don't know, for me, it's always a little bit of a stress just making sure we have everything, we haven't forgotten anything, and then just the, you know, all that travel stuff. But yeah, very excited to be on the road again. This one's a bit of a crazy one. We got your cars, your cars! So the plan today is Cape Town to Johannesburg, Johannesburg to London, London to Paris, then at the Paris airport we hop on a train to, I believe, Lyon, where we have a quick changeover to continue on to Montpellier. So definitely one of our longest travel days, but worth it to see friends on the other side. Okay, one thing that is crazy though is that the Cape Town airport is like 10 minutes away. Yeah. We've been in the car for like two or three. We've got seven minutes to go. I think Woodstock, the area that we've been staying in, is just like one of the best connected areas in Cape Town. five months of having no car that was a pretty exciting month with a car a lot of freedom uh, we hired it from around about cars in Cape Town and they were awesome something we haven't talked about that I want to just make a note of is that in South Africa to enter a store you have to either be sprayed with hand sanitizer or do it yourself like I just did like we've been places where they do uh, like a temperature check but it seems weird that that's the thing since we've all decided that COVID is airborne. But it's always good to have clean hands, right? I'm, a, I'm all right. Flight one out of three down, just two more and two trains to go. It feels like the middle of the night, it's about 8.30. We've got about 45 minutes till we board, so we're gonna go find a lounge, try to print our train ticket. This airport is dead, which I hope means our flight is dead. Probably unlikely, stay tuned. Three, two, one, for a Pete dance break. Update, it doesn't look like it's gonna be empty. It's also a really big plane. So. <laughs> also, we found a part of the airport that wasn't dead. Mommy, mommy, daddy. back in the UK when you have to dig out the socks. We just flew 10 and a half hours from Johannesburg to Heathrow. Most amazing flight ever with Hayes. Not because of the flight, British Airways sort of sucks. Um, but Hayes took his headphones off, put his head in my lap and fell asleep before we took off and woke up eight hours later. <laughs> I'll do an update in a second, but it involves my least favorite airport and up there with my least favorite airlines. But we're on the plane to France and we'll be there in 45 minutes. Okay, we made it to Paris, which honestly is a miracle. We're waiting in our bags and then we have two trains but our three flights are over so our journey is over halfway over 
Heathrow was an absolute disaster. It's probably not a good story, but basically security was so slow and they were like individually checking everybody's bags and they were doing it for like 10 minutes and Pete was like, our flight is boarding. And then we saw that it was closing and they still hadn't checked Pete's bag. So I ran ahead. Somehow Pete beat me to the gate, but he didn't have the stroller and the baby and had to use the elevator. Anyway, he got to the gate and they had taken our bags off the plane already. So we really almost didn't make it. So he convinced them to put them back on and let us on the flight. And now we just have to make the two trains. But we have like three hours till our train comes. Morale is high. We're traveling. I mean, it's still travel day. It's so fun. <laughs> We're on a train to Lyon now. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. That. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. That about sums it up. We're waiting for our last train of this journey to take us to Montpellier. It leaves in about 40 minutes. Really can't wait to get there now. I'm tired. Look what we found! Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Hey! That's the we made it! Hey, Come in! Hey. Well done, Hazy! Come on! <laughs> Car Matt. Matt. Car Matt. It's called Car Matt. This is amazing. We made it. There are yeah. 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 This is so beautiful. Yeah. It's so nice. Thanks. All right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Montpellier. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay.